Gülsemin Velidedeoğlu has been a marbling artist for almost two decades. While she practices marbling, she says she can go through many papers. And to prevent wasting the material, she thought it could be put to another use. So she looked for new ways to upcycle them. She started to turn those marble papers into an old artwork called Katu. I've read that a Chinese emperor from the 5th century was madly in love with his wife. When she passed away, the people closest to the emperor wanted to ease his pain. So they cut out a silhouette of his late wife. Then, at night, they put a light behind the cutout to create a shadow of her next to the emperor's bed, so he could sleep easier. It's said that the art of paper cutouts came about because of the emperor's love for his wife. And because the Ottoman Empire migrated to Anatolia from Asia Minor, they brought the paper cut art from China with them. And during the reigns of Mehmet II and Suleiman the Magnificent, the art movement saw its golden age. Kata means cutting in Arabic. And during the Ottoman Empire, this was a technique mostly used for embellishing the Quran and other scripts. Veli Dedeoğlu mixes different disciplines together and tries to sustain the same theme or feeling throughout various techniques. Once each piece is finished, she puts all of them together. Though the process is not that quick. She says they sometimes take weeks to finish. There is a marbling technique called two-tone marbling. I take a silhouette of a mosque, for instance, and with cutter, I embellish the paper around the mosque. This makes the whole work look different than the traditional ones. The marbling papers go hand in hand with the cutter silhouette I use. Sometimes I have to marble the same paper 20 times or so to get the desired effect. But the hard work seems to pay off. What I do is a contemporary interpretation of the traditional ways. And when I show these to people at exhibitions, they show a lot of interest in them. Veli Dedolu says, although she's using a contemporary approach, she wants her art to invoke a reverence for the ancient arts. Nursan Atutar, TRT World, Istanbul.